Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Nostalgia is a very personal word. Everyone has their own nostalgia. Whether that was toys, movies, video games, or music, these moments of happiness or meaning in early childhood and adolescence have studied effects on developing sense of self and brain development. I found that people will defend their nostalgic thoughts throughout their life. If someone grew up on a certain show, they might think that was the best show, compared to someone that watched something different. Neither are wrong in their opinion. Life is subjective, especially when it comes to lived experience. With that being said, Portal is one of those games that is very close to my nostalgic heart. I bought Portal when it first released with the orange box. Valve hit the jackpot when it came to this. Running into GameStop and not only seeing the new Half-Life episodes, but Team Fortress 2 and Portal in one box? I had already been a fan of the Half-Life series before playing Portal. Knowing that both universes were connected blew my mind. I found the concept that two games could progress a story and a universe enthralling. I wanted to learn more, and I can distinctly remember people going through Portal and trying to find Half-Life 3 easter eggs. My favorite easter egg was the keyboard conspiracy. In one of the later levels, you'll have access to the back rooms of the test chamber. Players found keyboards with certain keys highlighted, and some people surmised that the letters spelled out Sergeant Shepard, which I don't think they actually do. But as a young teenager who did walk around the Assassin's Creed endgame for about four hours trying to find easter eggs, I delved right into every conspiracy and lead the internet could whip up. Now, nostalgia is powerful. After completing Portal back in 2008, I hadn't played it since, but whenever I would hear the name, so many good thoughts came back to me. It was like I was back in my room with my 360 humming, staying up late on a weekend with a familiar pizza. Not many games have that emotional resonance, but when I thought about it, many do come from my childhood. But what about the game was so good then, and honestly, so great now after many years. Welcome to What You Want Gaming Portal. Portal is a unique gem especially when it debuted in 2007. Valve's Source Engine was trailblazing when it came out in the early 2000s. Portal used the robust physics the engine touted and graphically Portal still holds up, especially with the new RTX update. Portal revolves around solving a multitude of puzzles, progressively getting harder, but it never felt unfair. Honestly, it felt like riding a bike again coming back to the game. There were of course moments where I thought to myself, if you did this at 12, you can do it at 28. The storytelling in Portal is Valve Masterclass. The eeriness of the beginning combined with Gladys slowly falling apart set such a great tone. Valve did a great job balancing and introducing Gladys, the main villain. There was something so sinister yet tragic about them. The steady change of their tone and language sent chills through my spine, and some of her voice lines are iconic. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. Incandescence. Thank you for participating in this Aperture Science computer-aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. In retrospect, I'm surprised I'm not as adverse to AI stuff now after all of this. Anyways, Portal follows the player character through many levels. I don't want to give too much away about the story if you've never played it, but I cannot stress enough how cool this world gets. The game itself only took me 2-3 to three hours to beat, so it's not a time commitment, and for what you're getting, I wouldn't pass on playing Portal for the first time or replaying it again. This is going to be one of my shorter videos, because I really think you should pick up Portal. If you want a great physics based puzzle game with amazing atmosphere and level design, I'd highly recommend picking up Portal. If puzzle games are not your fancy, or you can get easily motion sick, I'd stay away. 
There might be problems with this game, things I'm blind to, and I think that's okay. Games can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. That's why I don't use numbered reviews. In almost every game, there's a slice of something someone wants. I hope these reviews help you to decide on that slice. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot and I always appreciate reading your comments or questions. And as always, what you want, gaming.